You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on atheistrepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Hello. Uh, I'm not uh, fluent uh, in English, but I hope you guys can understand uh, understand me uh, first of all uh, i'm a young man uh, i have uh, 20 25 years old i live in a north african country uh, called tunisia their their religion uh, it's a religious uh, country 90% of them are muslims and i'm a, i'm an atheist so uh, Maybe there there is no war here, but so there is a kind of uh, mental persecution here, and my life is like a hill. Uh, I have to to live uh, by the rules. I have uh, like Ramadan is is here right now, and if I eat, uh, they will say things they. They will uh, judge me. They, it's like it's like a hell. Uh, so my, I I seek for help to to get out of this this uh, hell. Maybe I I don't care. I, I want to go uh, to a free country. I don't care about money. I don't care about anything. I, I just I want to live a free life. You you know what I mean. I. I hope you understand my request. Uh, I'm not so fluent in English, so can can you text me back? Thank you. Yeah, hi. Um, I'll just send you an email. My name is uh, Ali Zerno. I uh, I don't know what to sound exactly, but I went to prison uh, for marking the known truth from religion and the ritual. Rituals of Islam and the prophets and the messengers of God. And I just got out like 19 days ago, and uh, I live in Algeria right now. And uh, uh, I don't know what to do actually. I, uh, I'm scared shitless, and uh, basically my whole life got ruined because I went to prison uh, for mocking what is known for, uh, of religion, and of Try to contact you on Twitter, but I don't know how to send a message on Twitter for some reason. Uh, the thing is, I really just wanted to, wanted to like share my story with you. That's all. Um, in Algeria, the justice system just like violated my freedom of speech because I used to run a Facebook page called Algerian Atheist, and they sent me to jail for three years. After I appealed the sentence, they gave me one year. So, yeah, so that's it. If you could, like, contact me, I'd love to share my story. And thank you. Hi, my name is Muhammad. I'm an ex-Muslim. Left Islam in 2017. And after that, I suffered with a lot of troubles from Muslim society and my countrymen, my relatives, colleagues, and friends as well. I'm a father of two innocent children. And I'm living a very horrible life there. Please help. Help us, if possible, for my two innocent kids. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and hello, respected friends. I am Rehmat Khan from Afghanistan, and I am recovered from Islam religion. From three and a half years, I become a humanist. I mean, 
in the eighth test. Unfortunately, I am living in the lazy environment in society. In Afghanistan, the religious majority, the religious people, they are running Islamic rules and regulation, which is a big danger in the threat for the UK security. Impossible risk, impossible danger, the threat. Please help me for the sake of humanity to leave the country, to leave Afghanistan. My dear friends, my dear mates, my dear friends of this community, please help me for the sake of humanity. Thank you. Hello, I am Serunjo Jahasan from Uganda. I want to share the, the my, my story why I, I I I went out of Islam and how I uh, I am living right now. I was born in a Muslim family. I went to an Islamic school in Jinja. Jinja is a district in Uganda. Then I went to Kampala. I studied my primary and secondary. We had a secular curriculum and an Islamic curriculum. I finished my Islamic college in 2013. And I, I, I also finished, finished my secondary education for secular studies in 2015. When I was at school, I was uh, I was an imam in 2014. I also was a member in a, 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 an, an association. It was called the Bilal Islamic Dawah Association. It was an association that was made by the the patron of Islam at school in order to propagate Islam. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.